Hello guys, today I am going to be making some pan seared scallop with linguine and sherry wine and some fresh tarragon and fennel. Yeah, not everybody likes this. I don't like it either. I'm just trying this recipe that I saw and I thought it looked amazing. I can't wait to finish it up. Try it. So my recipe calls for some pancetta, salt, some ground white pepper, crushed pepper flakes, unsalted butter, linguine, and it calls for olive oil, but I'm going to test this truffle organic extra virgin olive oil. And uh, it's dry Vermont white wine. I'm not a fan of white wine or dry wine, so... I'm going to try my sherry and, of course, some scallops and tarragon, fresh garlic sliced, and the fennel. So, stay tuned. I'll be cooking up something, 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 something. So, today my recipe calls for fennel to be thinly sliced, and I am using my Kitchen Supreme shredder here and this is just awesome like I have done half of it already and that's the outcome it's a lot and it's not a huge fennel it's small so this is so unique I use this with cabbage It is really, really thin, and it's just perfect. Depending on how you use it, you can get it thicker or thinner slices. So, just to let you know, it's this really cute <laughs> little thing. See, it's so small, but the never-ending fennel because it's so thinly sliced. Everything is prepped and ready. My butter, uh, the top of my fennel, my sherry, my lemon juice. I'm supposed to use lemon zest, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna use the juice. Um, my olive oil, my truffle olive oil, my salt. The only thing I, I need to use my white pepper, my ground white pepper to taste. So let's see how it's gonna come out. That's my fennel and it's thinly sliced thanks to my Kitchen Supreme machine that I used or my little gizmo, <laughs> my little gadget, it's so cute. And um, my thinly sliced garlic some dried <clears throat> pepper flakes and my pancetta my tarragon and i am heating my pan here to add my pancetta yup don't tell nobody but i put extra pancetta in here and Considering how salty pancetta is, I'm wondering if I should even put salt in this thing. But anyhow, we will see. I like to taste my food before I finish cooking or even before I add salt. So. Them. 
one small detail here. I have to add my fennel to my heated oil plus the fat on the pancetta. Stir it up a little bit and get it cooked. This has the consistency of like cabbage. It's searching the baby. Like the texture. So I've used some of the olive oil and the fat that fried up the pancetta. And in the meantime, I'm going to add the, well I've added the oil that's remaining to the garlic and I'm mixing it up. While my fennel is cooking. So my fennel is nicely brown and I've pushed it to the side. I'm going to add my mixed oil with my garlic and my hot pepper flakes in the center here. Guess what's going in next? <clears throat> Share wine. <clears throat> Hip hop. This is hot. Pancetta. <coughs> well, it's pretty much almost. I, I heated it a little bit, so let's speed up the process. <coughs> yes, Lord. <coughs> no. the pancetta. What? <laughs> yeah, kitchen mishaps. Okay. Pancetta added the pancetta and the bowl plated. Hmm? Beast, any beast. It's going to be this. 
scallops, baby. So I've cut my scallops dry and I'm sprinkling some salt. On, on it. Oh well, that's one down to go. One less to worry about. Okay. Now that my skillet is hot, I'm gonna toss them in. Now I've used the same oil from the pancetta, so it has the flavor in it. Ooh, don't burn me up! Ooh, ooh. Oven, so I have to change my skillet because I have to put this in the oven. And I definitely cannot stick the other one in the oven. I have removed the majority of the fat oil. Now I'm going to stick it in the oven. In the skillet, I've added two tablespoons of butter and the tarragon with the lemon juice and I'm sauteing this a little bit just so the butter gets melted everything is combined This is my tarragon and my butter. <coughs> I'm gonna add my pancetta and my fennel to it and my pasta. So this is my pancetta and fennel mixture with the tarragon and the butter. Now I'm gonna add the pasta. and toss
this smells like full. Oh my goodness, it smells so good because of the tarragon and the fennel. I am tossing this baby. Once it's combined. I will serve it with some of these scallops. Yep. They are golden brown. They were in the oven after I tossed them. Now I'm going to add some white pepper. Oi, what a whole leap. And toss some more. Guys, my love pepper. Just a pity I couldn't fling some scotch bonnet in here. Oops. Mm, it smells so good. And that's my garnish from the top of the fennel, the feathered portion. It's my complete meal. I've never made this before, I've never really cooked this type of meal before and I decided to try it. I'm sure it's yummy. I can smell it. It tastes and smell <laughs> good. Just by the flavors, I can honestly tell. I tasted the gravy or the sauce, so I know exactly how it tastes.